Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as I promised, we're going to be installing a high pressure fuel pump. I got it from Dorch. It's 2.5. It's the latest model. It's just better flow and everything. Um, just check it out. We got everything. They also got the 3D printed over here. It's basically going to be helping you to install the high pressure fuel pump later on. And let me show you the beast <laughs> I won't be able to take it out just yet because it has the residue and I don't want to get my hands dirty <laughs> not today okay so as you guys know we're gonna be disconnecting the battery you already know how to disconnect the battery you have to do it before you're gonna you know uh, do any work under your hood so I won't be able to show you <laughs> how to disconnect it, but you can definitely go and check out my different videos that I was explaining what to use, how to disconnect, because we don't have much space. But here, how to install the high pressure fuel pump, we will go together step by step. I guess let's get started. So the first thing first, you gotta remove the cover. I cut mine off. I think it looks sick, a little dirty, but it's okay because I installed the intake manifold. So we're gonna put it away. Just wanna get rid of everything before we're gonna start working on a car. This, you're just gonna pull it up. Just like that. That's it. Here you would need 10 mil. It's gonna be a quarter turn. Come on. It's gonna slide out just easy on it because it's plastic try not to break anything i'm gonna be trying to install the high pressure fuel pump very fast so it's gonna be less talking and more work i'm gonna be using the pick tool or you guys can also use the the plastic tool it doesn't really matter as long as you're gonna get a under those circles. First is out. Second is out. the power come on I love Tecton they make such a nice tools all right guys when you're gonna be unscrewing those two bolts you wanna unscrew it towards like against you it's not like we all got used to left to loosey not in this case All right, those two guys are out. We're gonna put it in some safe place over here. And then I'm gonna get the also Tecton, the E18. And we're gonna be unscrewing those two bolts because we've got to remove the shot. Mm -hmm. beautiful tool. Nice and long. It gives you that leverage. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 
so the passenger side towards yourself and the driver is against those two guys are out Here we're gonna remove the wires. And then you're gonna be able to remove this part. You're gonna see the plastic Just try to put everything into one place, not to lose anything at the end. All right, we're done here. Now we're gonna remove the, the bar. All right, it's seven screws. Seven guys, not six. I was like, why it's not coming out? <laughs> and now <laughs> you'll be able to remove it. All right. Okay, one. You see? Look at it. Oh, hello. A little cutie. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it reminds me of a tank. I don't know. It's just a funny thing to have here. All right. We're halfway done, guys. It's time to uh, for a full upgrade. So we're going to be replacing all these parts. <laughs> I just hit my head, yo. <laughs> oh. 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 All right, guys, so here we would need a towels because it's usually the gas leak coming out from the pump and uh, I don't want the gasoline all over my car. So here I want to unplug the wire. You're going to see here a top under. That's it. And we're going to press on it and pull it out. Ooh. Did you see the squirt? The gas is coming out. Okay. All right, this bolt is towards yourself and the other side is away. It was just a little bit of gas because I didn't drive my car. So we're good to go here. I was able to unscrew one side, but on the other side, the coil pack was in my way. So we're going to disconnect it. gonna be easier to take it out as soon as you disconnect the wire you're good to go to remove this Huh? 
God damn, it's long. Okay. This should just pull it out. Okay. Ooh. Out. Here you go. Here you go. It's just much easier. I just didn't want to disconnect more parts. But it's all right, two seconds. This part is out. Let's see if I have a gas here. Of course I do. Just a little bit, nothing major. It's really good to work on the car um, when it's cold. And if you didn't drive it for a whole day, so you're not gonna have major problems with the gas leaking. Okay, so this part is out. All right, so here you're gonna see a little screw here. It's an A6 that we need to, I don't see anything, that we need to remove. Here you will see the C clip, you see it? All right, we're gonna remove that. The C clip was really giving me a problem. So what I did is I took the, uh, the pick tool, I pressed from other side, one side, and I just like pre-open it. That's it. So now we're gonna be Disconnecting this part. <laughs> so it's hidden here. So what you have to do is you gotta press it in and pull it out. It was a little bit hard for me to pull it out and I didn't catch it on the video, but all I did is I pressed it really, really hard and I basically pull out the, the black part out of it. So if you're a girl and you're trying to change your high pressure film pump, girl, it's gonna cost you a broken nail, I promise. <laughs> but otherwise, that's the only issue that I had so far. Rest is extremely easy. Just, you see? The pressing on it is really, really hard, but otherwise it's easy to do. Okay, this is the most boring part, guys. This, we're gonna unscrew gentle because it's ha uh, the pump got spring, so we don't wanna damage anything. See the people doing it halfway, but I'm trying to a little faster. The screw is really long in here, so get ready with that patience.
Okay. Let's pick this baby up. There you go. It's a beautiful pump. So if you guys need anything, you let me know. And you can get it from me. It's like, what, eight months old? All right, so right now we're gonna be putting this, I think it's called base plate, I'm not quite sure, with the 3D on top. It's gonna help you to align the uh, fuel pump later on the road so let's begin and obviously you want to take a look at this part you see like it's a, it's circle on the top and it's not circle on the bottom so basically this is how it goes as well this is circle and not so this is how you want to put it in sure to line it up correctly Look at this piece. So beautiful. All right, guys, let's get started. So, Dorsch will supply with four screws. Two is going to be short, which is going to be applied over here. And the long ones is for the pump. So, we're going to remove that. 3D, thank you very much. And we're gonna put the pump in into the hole. Look how pretty it looks. Nice and slow. Try to screw them equally. Guys, I want to mention you something on a regular 2.0. Um, Dodge, they're supplying with the uh, C-Clip. But on the 2.5, which is upgraded, they, they don't. It's just basically you're going to screw it into your pump. The C, the C-Clip is on the other side. So it's going to look like that. Only one side. So I'm going to put it here and we're going to start tidying it up. Okay, we're good here. Now, the most annoying part. 
We're gonna take off the C clip. <laughs> Try not to drop it. With the C clip, you need to make sure that this, you see like how it's poking out in between the gaps on the C line. So you wanna put it and then start screwing in. Just like that. Screwing in all the way, baby. Yeah, this is it. Ready. You want to pull it out, try pulling it out, and if it doesn't come off, that's it. You're good to go. Done. Mm -hmm. We're going to remove the protection. And let's get started. Protection away from here too. We don't like to be protected. <laughs> All the protection off. So we're gonna line everything up. As I said, I lined everything up perfectly. See how everything on its place. So it's time to screw everything in. Guys, I want to mention you, when you're going to be uh, tightening this up, you're going to see a space like that. It's, it, it's going to probably look kind of off for you, but this is how it is. This is how Dorch created this piece, I guess, this have to be this way so it's going to be a space in between sorry guys my mic died so i have to do a voiceover anyways as you could see i'm torquing the high pressure line down to 31 millimeters you honestly don't need to use a digital torque wrench you could just use a regular torque wrench just digital wrench is more precise so you gotta torque down the high pressure line connecting to a fuel pump as well to 31 millimeters I personally love using digital torque wrench. I got mine from Amazon, but I'm definitely gonna upgrade to a better one. Dodge will supply with a bracket to secure the low pressure fuel line using OEM E6 bolt that we took off earlier. You'll reuse it to secure the line. Don't over tight it though. Connect the supply plug and play adapter to Dodge fuel pump and the other end to the car's fuel pump electrical connector. Once you finish installing the fuel pump, make sure everything is back the way it was. You're good to connect the battery. Don't rush to turn on your car yet because you would need to log in into your boot mod on your phone or computer, it doesn't really matter. I'm using my phone with the boot mod's Wi-Fi adapter. Let me show you how to program it. Once you're gonna get connected, you'll see three lines. You're gonna hit that, then you'll go to map. You're gonna scroll down to find your map that you're currently using. So you're gonna hit on the map, then you'll hit the settings. In the settings, you'll see high pressure fuel pump. You're gonna pick that. You will see Dorch. You're gonna click on that too. You're gonna have to go back twice. Go back to your map that you're currently using, hit the three lines again. Right after, you're gonna press on the flash. Flash it again to confirm it. And just sit and wait. It's gonna probably take a few minutes to flash. Just be patient. Once it's going to be completed, wait 10 seconds and then you're going to turn on your car and go enjoy it. Guys, okay, so now we're going to check for the leaks. I'm going to start up the car.
perfect. All right, guys, so everything looks good. I'm just gonna take those parts, put it back on, you know what to do. As soon as I'm gonna go uh, get that ethanol, I'm gonna be recording a different video. I'll definitely <laughs> record my emotions. <laughs> People saying that the car is going to be way faster than it is right now. So, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for all your support. Don't forget to like, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.